Yeah, probably. And then go kind of an aggro lane. It's tough, you you aggroing want... into Weaver, though. Yeah, you don't want the AA versus the Nature's Prophet, because that AA lifesteal is going to lose their lane, so... Yeah. So, uh, the question is here. Game one. Who's going to get ahead? Uh, I'm going to say Secret. Yeah, I'll stick with Secret as well, I think. Yeah? Slightly for their draft and better plan here. All right. One front here on the panel. Time for the first game of the series. It is over to Lyrical and Blitz. I uh, see up top now, Fata and Puppy trying to just stay strong in this lane. Three heroes against two, but they got those Treants to soak up a bit of damage. And Fata going to be in a little bit of a tough spot right now. They got the open wounds already, and well, Trees to try and block his way to get himself out of there. But the Nightmare, oh. are you kidding me? Able to keep himself alive. My goodness. Puppy gets That's first be a return blood instead. Kill. That was glorious. And Kaka here isn't even going to be able to finish off Fata. Blocking off that camp making it so that they have to split between three people. And so as a result, you'd like to see Kaka start moving around. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's mid set up for the stun. Quick and easy one. They're going to try and find this kill mid one, trying to stay alive himself, but it's not going to be enough. And Yapsor wasn't able to get there in time to finish off SC. Make things happen later in the game once he gets his levels since he's being left alone around now? Oh, mid right now. Oh, God. Hold that thought as mid one doesn't have Ghost Shroud. Yeah, Puppy is here. He's going to go for the Nightmare again, but there are so many. Here's the, oh, the Great stun. Impale trying to turn this back around. Kaka, can he get the kill? Yes, they will. But they are sort of bringing in this Aegis Prophet as well. Fata trying to bring down Faith, but everybody from Newbie gets away. Oh, most played hero for a reason. Yeah, and KP at bottom. He's got the Ravage available mid one. Yeah, they're coming in. They bring in the Earthshaker as well, and Gale going to be oh, he's just gonna on the mark. Oh, he's going to Ravage for this. All right, they use the Ravage, and a little bit of hate thrown the way of mid one. Is he actually... No, there's no way he lives here, right? Surely not. I mean, Surely not. Crowd. Mid one? Are you kidding me? What? Is he really going to live here? He had the stick charges, too. He can turn around and Reaper and see if he gets too close. It's maybe a bit too scary to walk up this hill and waiting for those wards. Mid one walks away. They committed so much for that. That was a Ravage. Three heroes down there. It's going to open up the map a little bit. Mid's going to get shoved in as a result of this. Ace getting some farm. And Necrophos. Oh, no. Might even Kaka. find a kill. They need to get the Reaper Sight. They are going to find it, and it's enough damage for the kill. My god, mid one somehow. Necrophos is that <laughs> His turnaround potential is probably the highest in the game. Yeah. You've always got to be worried about that. As soon as you get to half HP, you notice that... Oh. Uh, SEC wasn't willing to chase and at bottom now it's going to be KP that most likely goes down here. Is Puppy trying to go for the body blocks? Probably not necessary though. Yeah, they'll just be able to go in now with the Nightmare and that should be a pretty quick and easy one. Mid one finds himself another kill. Yeah, he's staying really far back by the tower. He realizes this Necro is playing a little bit aggressively and the creep wave is pushing into me. No reason to be impatient here. Look at Newbie though. They're bringing in Kaka and Faith, and they're going to be able to find Puppy. Now, can they actually make anything happen? There's the sleep on the AA. The, oh, the Impale connects onto two. They do have a Ravage available, but they get the Reaper Scythe off first, and Kaka trying to turn this back around. Are they going to be able to do it? The Bolti comes out as well from the Venomancer. A lot of damage being dealt. They lose the Earthshaker as well, and Newbie maybe just getting a little bit too far forward there. They're going to lose SC as well. And once again, they try making their move onto this Necrophos. Things were starting to feel like they were turning around, but then losing that fight. And I mean, how much does that hurt them here? Is, is it something where you feel like they've lost a lot of momentum or? Oh, a ton. Okay. As Fada going to make his move in as Kaka stuns him up. The A Ice Blast does connect. He's cold feeded up. Out, able to bring him down. They do get that kill at the very least. And Mugi was one of the people that was able to pick it up. Yapsor is still here, though. The tower is gone, so they won't have vision of him, although there is that sentry ward that he was just inside of. I think that Yapsor realized that they had vision of him, but they will go on to SC here now. Trying to bring him down low. There's going to be a spike. Carapace almost able to kill SC. Is he going to go down? Trying to TP out. He's actually going to be able to live there. And it looks like Yapsor might be the one that ends up paying instead. So the gank is going to turn around. The Echo Slam turn around. Not there. Kill off that Shaker. Gets absolutely deleted. And it's probably one of the freer ones in the sense that their main lockdown is not doing the best right now. Uh, I think the panel touched on it earlier is that this Earthshaker, his Blink Dagger kind of timing is going to be really imperative. But if you look at his goal, 225 to his name. Oh, Faith down bottom, just going to get picked off. And that's the strength of a Nyx Assassin. For sure. You know, all KP up in the top, he has the Lifestealer infested into him. But not really a great way to catch these people is puppy are they gonna try and go on this do they know they don't know the life stealers inside of them here they jump out Surprise. oh the sprout they're going to lose puppy but it's profit at least gets away 
God. And they don't have AA. Mid one, pretty much unkillable here. I mean, look at this. There's four heroes around mid one, and he just doesn't have to worry about anything. Puppy is here as well, though, and he actually needs to be a little bit concerned. Nightmare is there. Impale, can it come out? It's going to connect onto two of them. Not bad. It's a decent way to start. They have oh, the feature grip. as well. They got him caught. There's the scythe. He goes down. KP dead. No revenue this one. SC is gone as well. They've got bugs up on Mookie for a second, which gave him vision, and while well, they aren't going to be able to catch Kaka, it looks like they aren't going to be able to get the life lifesteal either. Just not enough damage on anyone. That clutch four staff puppy is going to go down. Blast down. Ooh, you're dead. Fata finds the kill there. Okay. <laughs> the chat wheel is coming online. Yeah. It's the morale booster. It really is. I feel like the people are a little sad that the voices are taken away, but... Oh, oh God. Now KP again. Going to be in trouble. Does he actually go down here, though? The pipe? Or rather, the hood. Able to keep him alive for a moment, but they've caught the Earth Shaker down bottom, too. It just looks like all over the freaking map. Oh, Secret are going see. on him. God, it doesn't really feel good. Look at this. They're just getting ran around circles around him. Yeah, and Ace, he realizes all the spells are done. Faith should go down for this Fada, even going to TP in oh, the back lines. God, it's all falling apart. Secret are just dismantling them. So it's not going to take one team fight for Newbie to back, get back into this game. It's going to take two. And with another five minutes, it'll take three. Mugi will be found. They've got a catch. They've got themselves most likely a kill as well. That ward, it's kind of a nifty one there from Secret, keeping vision over the ancient camp, so nothing is gotten for free here for Newbie. Yeah, nothing really safe for them. Like, they are trying to protect their jungle area, but because they haven't been able to deward that one, it's been hard for them. And Ace picks up the Aegis for free, goes wildly out of control for you. Yeah. As Newbie. Well. All right, this should be the big fight here. Now they have a Ravage available. The Ice Blast is not going to connect, though. And Puppy, Nightmares himself, still staying alive for the moment as Ace takes down Faith. The Echo Slam is there off to the side, but it's not going to be enough damage. They are going to be able to possibly kill off and take down SC. Everybody else is living. Fata's split pushing along the bottom lane. It is just a catastrophe here for Newbie. Yeah, and their high ground hero is down. They do have Ravage available. Earthshaker, Blink Dagger is online. But if he does not kill everybody with that Echo, then it's likely that Secret just march on through. And with this pipe on mid one, it's becoming less and less likely. This is just dosed. I mean, look at it. You got the bottom lane. They're all going to go down there to try and deal with the Treants. Up top, Secret's going to take another tier three tower. There's just nothing here at all. And he might just try and solo Moogie here. He gets caught there for a moment and stuck inside of the trees. Nowhere left to go. He brings a bunch of heroes down with him as well, so the rest of Secret can push the top lane. And Ace is diving tier 4 to kill off Faith. The Fissure doesn't even connect. Oh, Blitz, turn away. GG is called. That was disgusting. Yeah, probably one of the more brutal series that we've seen so far, but this is just how good Secret is. As they absolutely run over Newbie who has taken an absolute beating at his tournament, haven't won a single game yet. As Secret, they just cleaned house. Oh, man. Where do you go from here? Like, I mean, uh, uh, for Secret, it's great. It's amazing. You know, you, you show up, you get to, you know, lay a beat down to the TI runners up. For Newbie, I'm, I'm like trying to figure out, like, it just, it doesn't feel like the drafts, they, they